Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> Welcome back to a few shots with Revolver Broadcasting. Uh, it's been a while since a uh, while. Wow. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> since y'all have seen one of these from us. Man, I can get more country. I guess this is going with going in hand in hand with the mason jar here. Uh, if you haven't seen the show before, we we take something that's happening in in, in politics or in pop culture, uh, or just in general, it's out there on the interwebs, and we take a few shots verbally, verbally. We do verbally uh, take shots. while we take a few shots of something to drink. It's usually water or tea. We've got water today. We have magic bottles. Or yeah, magic bottles that you're hallucinating. Yeah, you are hallucinating. Those are those are disappearing because you are seeing that. We're not seeing that. We're not seeing anything. Uh, we're just magic. And <laughs> we're more magic. Yes. It's pop politics. Pop politics. No. <laughs> I think we're going off the rails here. So anyway, uh, Is if you... to begin with, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If y'all are on the Trump train like I am... Uh, Maybe Sterling is on the Trump train. I mean, yeah. I think he could do better than Biden. Yeah. And there's, That's not, a, there's not anybody else really out there. I, if we could have that governor lady as president, that'd be a tough one between. Oh, like the, and her. the uh, young lady that's running yep. for Indiana yep. uh, governor here. I feel like Jimmy, she's pretty steady. Right now? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Right now. Yep. So, yeah. If this, if you're watching this before May 7th of 2024, make sure that you go vote for Jimmy right now for governor. We're uh, over here at Revolver. Mm-hmm. Giving her her endorsement, I guess, or at least yeah. my endorsement is an individual. Yeah. Uh, and Sterling, well, you, you've seen I that too, yeah, he gave her a resounding that. endorsement as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in the in the uh, in the news, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you've seen this. Okay, so some breaking news this morning: Former President Trump was found in contempt of court and ordered to pay nine thousand dollars in fines. The judge found Trump repeatedly violated a gag order that barred him from making public statements about witnesses, jurors, and some others connected to his hush money case. The former president was fined one thousand dollars for each of the nine times he violated the gag order. Trump has repeatedly said he was just exercising his First Amendment rights. The former president is currently on trial, accused of making hush money payments to cover up alleged affairs. So. <laughs> what? Crazy. That's weird. Did you see that? Do you believe any of that? Yes. I don't know. That was, that was crazy. It's like just all up there on the screen. For well, to see. yes, it is crazy that a former president. Former. So hopefully soon to be again, even if he has to do it from a jail cell, apparently. And he might have to if he keeps putting, keep being put in contempt for for things that, as far as we could verify, didn't happen. Unless we missed it or they took it down. Everything that I have seen or read about this case, it came down to his true social posts. So Sterling and I sat here for a while on the evening of this recording. We did. And we went back through two weeks. That's before the trial would even even started. And according to these this gag order, you know, he can't talk about it during, well, up until before. After <laughs> yeah. he was accused of this and, and held in contempt for the nine counts of going against the gag order, he didn't actually do anything. But we did find stuff after. If you guys if you guys know what they're talking about here, please post the link if you could do that or, or some way so we can get over to it to see because we didn't we didn't find anything like you said until just shortly ago. Yeah, after it all happened. Weird. And so let me uh, let me just bring up what we what we found if I can manage to do the controls correctly here. I did it in practice and it worked perfectly. <laughs> so we have our, our our first truth that we we found. Uh, this was recent one. It, you know, it, at the time we had pulled it. Only been about two hours. He yep. said this is a total witch hunt. Uh, hours of sitting down and listening to nothing except exoneration and lies. The trial is going is going like a speeding bullet <laughs> bear with me because the judge is working hard to make uh, all of his friends hap- happy Merchan is is rigged crooked and above all and without question conflicted it's a, it's a disgrace to our country they've taken away my right to free speech election interference and then we found another one earlier in the day and again this is well after he had already been held in contempt this judge has taken away my constitutional right to free speech. Uh, I am the only presidential candidate in history to be gagged. The whole trial, in, in quotations, quotes, yep. <laughs> is rigged. And by taking away my freedom of speech, this is highly conflicted. The, uh, the judge is rigging the presidential election of 2024. 
election interference. I corrected his grammar there. It was <laughs> it's not quite a correct grammar, but I, I mean, we went back two weeks. We did go back two weeks. Yep. I, I, I don't know. Where I don't know where the nine counts. Even if they went with specific words, it couldn't have been those two truths because those were well after. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless they're going to try to count them for those two. But you know, that would be a whole other contempt and yep. a whole other char- set of charges, right? And at least two. Potential there. Because yeah, they said what they said, uh, witnesses, jurors, and some others pertaining to the alleged hush money affairs thing that he supposedly said on nine different nine different counts, a thousand dollars a piece. I don't know. If you guys find it, like we said, please, please put it up. If you know more, leave a comment. Cause we don't we don't know we don't see it. What do you think besides that, Josh? It says it's impeding on his freedom of speech. We talked about this a little bit already, but. Yeah, I mean, you can go one or two camps, right? We talked that way, talked about where, I mean, yes, he does have freedom of speech, but then you made a good point of like, well, if the judge says this is specifically what you're not to talk about, then, you know. You, you, by law, shouldn't be talking about that. And then, but then if I lean back into another like devil's advocate on, mm-hmm. on that would be, did the judge spell out exactly what the infractions could be if, if, and, and what are the consequences of those reactions? I mean, is, is that spelled out in the gag order or is it just like, Hey, don't talk about this. Cause then if there's no consequences actually spelled out and then they're just making it up as they go, they could really do anything. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. We don't. We didn't see those documents. Uh, we probably won't until afterwards. Juicy how it goes. Yeah. If they're released, we, we can. Uh, we can, well, I mean, they're court documents. So shouldn't they be public record? It should be. I just assume they won't be until after. Yeah. Well. A, yeah. Certainly after. The most we could probably do like a FOIA. We could do like a Freedom of uh, Information Act, and and hopefully, I mean, I know that that's supposed specifically usually pertains to the government, but since since he was a former president. Maybe it could still land in FOIA territory. Might. I don't know. It's it's just it's such a weird thing to see with this judge in particular. I think uh, I said, the TDS is strong with this one. <laughs> yeah. Trump derangement syndrome, if you don't know, or or, or syndrome, <laughs> is what that is. I, I don't. I don't. I think that was just it was going to be anything. I think they're just trying to find any reason, any reason to make it try to make him look bad or. Because they literally complained all all day yesterday on CNN uh, about the fact that he may or may not have used campaign funds for mm. the the hush money thing or whatever. It's like, what if he just didn't want people to to keep talking about something that didn't hap- actually happen? I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna get into the the deets of the trial a little bit, Stormy Daniels. <laughs> I had to think for a second what her name was. No, I should pray Gosh. for her. Pray for her. But Stormy Daniels wrote a letter saying that they uh, that the acts that that were she accused Donald Trump of and had went to court for. She wrote a letter saying that actually the events never happened and signed it. Then come back and tried to say she signed it under duress. She already had, she had a, a way of reaching out to the internet and saying, "Hey, this is what's happening. and This is happening right now," or "I went through this," or "I went through that." But all she ever said was that, you know, he was always so kind. He was always nice. They did have interactions with each other, you know, but it was always just cordial and and talk. That's it. So, Hmm. I mean, if that's all he did, and I mean, it's not like he's Bill Bill Clinton or anything. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know all the stuff about it, obviously, but. If he was paying hush money, supposedly paying hush money, who's to say that somebody didn't pay her to cause a problem? They're trying to say he did something with money or funds. Well, was, we could even take it a different way. I mean, we're looking at President Biden right now. Everything that's going on with his son and stuff. Is he in, is he in court and he being gagged and, and not being able to talk about things? I don't know. I, it seems very one-sided, Josh. Yeah, it's almost like... Um was they planned election, it this way. Election interference? Is that what he yeah, said? it's almost like Trump's exactly right when he says election interference. To a, to a point I heard earlier today was actually uh, someone had said, well, man, if, if they keep him from getting out there and standing on the stump and campaigning. Sure. Wherever. that You know, because they, they, well, <laughs> let me backtrack just a little bit. He actually missed his son's graduation, high school graduation. 
Ouch. So he had, he had to be in court for that during that time as well. So that's that would be a good faith thing in my opinion. Yeah, I mean it's something you you wait years for, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Your your kid graduating high school and he was not allowed because of this. It, Trump said it right: sham, judgment, trial, whatever you want to call it. It's a kangaroo court. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why Banana the stipulation Republic. was that they couldn't have made some sort of some sort of byway for him just to go to that. You know, I mean it's, it is important, but. <sighs> But you know, even uh, even him not being able to go out and and stand on the stump and and go out and campaign, yeah, he's getting all the media attention right now. Anyway, I mean, he's in the media, and people are eating it up. And and the people that know that this is definitely one sided, just as Sterling pointed out, what's going on with Hunter? Nothing. And that dude definitely broke the law, yeah, or uh, like a lot. <laughs> I mean, Biden too. There's there's some questionable yeah. stuff there, but uh, about the big guy, yeah, whether or not he's actually the the, the, the person named as big guy. Yeah. There, there's a lot to unpack there too. Yeah. I mean, why are they not going as hard or not, why, how about even harder with the current president? Because he has at the moment is the current president. I mean, that seems like that would be, in my opinion, a bigger deal. Cause I mean, if he's running the country right now, but yet he quote unquote, whether it's true or not, it seems like it is, but whether it's true or not, there's not, from what we're seeing, maybe it's just being put out of the news and the media and, and all that stuff. But I'd be more worried about a current president being involved in said things than a non-current president. Yeah, scandals. Right? I'm just saying. And <laughs> Where's it at? Uh, uh, and I, I know something that's going to get commented here. Okay. Somebody's going to probably say, oh, well, what about the two times that uh, Trump was impeached? <clears throat> you mean exonerated? I'm just going to shut that down real quick. Uh, so, you know, this one's still in the midst of a scandal. Sure. And and it just keeps showing more and more evidence. Of course, there's not nothing's going to happen because that's how it goes. The the, the Democrats, the elite, the, the people that have been chosen to be up there supposedly representing us uh, or representing, calling themselves leaders. Representing. Yeah. Gosh, that's the key word there calling themselves leaders when we know that they're not, they don't lead a darn thing, not even their own homes. I suppose that's why Biden's dogs wouldn't stop biting secret service and had to be removed from <laughs> the white house. If you can't get control of your animals, then probably shouldn't be running the country. Switch them out with turkeys. <laughs> he does love the turkeys. We, we proved that at Thanksgiving it can work, especially if they're named chocolate and chip, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, if you don't have anything else to add, I think we'll... Yeah, I mean, just pray for our leadership in general. Right now, it's in one way or another, for the current sitting president and the potentially upcoming sitting president, they both need prayer. So let's just pray that uh, God will work in a mighty way. Yeah, and I say Trump 2024. <laughs> So make sure that you guys are going over to revolverbroadcasting.com. Let me say it again, revolverbroadcasting.com, because I felt like it was a little muddled that first time. And, you know, check out all the shows. All the All the shows. Podcasts. Right. Yeah. Podcasts. Programs no. for Alan. <clears throat> yeah. I see specifically. you back there. Yeah, specifically. They never turn the cameras they around. Won't. They're fake news. It's true. Oh, I should have read, the, read those truths, says Trump. Next time. Maybe, yeah. Maybe next time. I'm sure that we'll, I'm sure there'll be more truths <laughs> from You could do a voiceover and just do the editing. Like we're, we're speaking right now, just put your voice in as a voiceover. It always is Trump. Are you talking is Trump? Are you talking to Trump? That'd be great. That maybe in the future. Maybe. This one's a little, little, this one would probably wear me out and wear the, the, the listener out as well if I were to do that. Probably. So, and I'm going to leave all that in because that's just fun for the <laughs> viewer. <laughs> so I guess we'll, we'll see you next time guys. And, uh, Stay in trouble? Question mark? <laughs>